So we're with Father Simon Peter today to learn more about the school in his parish in Sarodi, Uganda. Right. And we, for our fundraising um, efforts over Lent, to raise money for the library and the science um, lab at the school. So, when was the school built, Father? Uh, this is a school in Soroti, in, in, in our parish called St. Patrick's Parish, Madeira. Uh, it is a school called Holy Angels Secondary School. Holy Angel Secondary School is a school that uh, where children go from the uh, from the eighth to the eleventh grade, and um, it was begun by the church in, in the year two thousand and fifteen. And when we began it, we had only about twenty students, and uh, it was not very easy to to manage the students there because they were coming from homes that were distant away from the school and um, they were walking long distances from, from homes up to the school. Time came when the population of the school increased. Up to, up, uh, currently we have about uh, uh, nearly 300 students. But uh, when I came to this country, we, I got in touch with some good people here who helped us uh, build dormitories for these children. Dormitory is where is a, a block where uh, children could come from home and be at school for three months and stay at school and sleep there in the dormitory. We started by building a dormitory for, for, for the girls because we, we, the girls were really were at a risk of uh, being uh, uh, spoiled by bad guys on the ways, and they, as they left, as they left home to school and and, and, and back uh, and, and so and, and, and back and forth. Mm -hmm. So uh, we built a, a dormitory that can accommodate 100 girls. This dormitory was uh, also equipped with uh, enough beddings for them, uh, beds, uh, bunk beds, and enough mattresses for the 100 girls. Then later on, we also built a dormitory for a hundred boys. All this was done by the support and the contribution of the community of St. Mark's Church. Uh, after the, the dormitories, we now embarked on a building a science block. Uh, by, build by building a science block, we were actually responding to the, the, the government, our government directive that each school should have a science block. Otherwise, we, 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 were, we were risking to be, being closed as a school by the government. Mm. So the parishioners of St. Mark's also uh, were very kind. They contributed some money for us to start building the science block. This science block is near completion. It has all actually been roofed and, uh, and shuttered uh, the windows and the doors have been put in place and the floor has been put in place too. What, we, what is now left is really like uh, furnishing it. Furnishing uh, the tables and chairs and, the, and, uh, and equipping it with the science apparatus and equipments. But, and, all, and then also because uh, our, there is no power nearby, so we intend to install uh, solar power into the school, into the block. So this is really where we are uh, it is still not yet done, but we hope that we shall be there one day. Uh, we really call upon uh, anybody and everybody of goodwill, uh, any parents or the children, to support their fellow children in Uganda so that they may be able to have a future. Because education is the key, as they say. Without education, you can be nothing almost. In Uganda, especially where... Uh, Children who are not educated, people who are not educated, are really uh, in, uh, suffering a lot, a lot. But education sometimes opens one's, one's ways to doing something. You can achieve, you can be able to know what to do in life for yourself and for your family. Thank you. Thank you.